welcome students today i am going to start a second chapter kings farmers and towns this chapter depicts us about the early cities and economies during a long span of 1500 years there were many developments in different part of the subcontinent after the end of harappan civilization Rigveda was composed during this period by the people who living along the river Indus and its tributaries. You know well about Vedas. What are Vedas? Vedas are the religious Hindu religious text. You will say like that. Main Vedas: Rigveda, Yajur Veda, Adharma Veda, and Sama Veda. Among these, Rig Veda is the oldest one. You know what is the uh, difference between re uh, religious, other religious texts and uh, this uh, Vedas? Vedas are also called uh, Shruti, what is heard. Whereas other religious texts are called as Smriti. Which means what is remembered. So, this period means this during this period, Rigveda composed by the people those who live along the river Indus. And uh, probably we can see agricultural settlements emerged in various parts of the subcontinent, like North India. Deccan Plateau and part of Karnataka. As you all know that India is a land of rivers. We are having plenty of rivers. Sindhu, Ganga, Selekarke, Krishna, Kaveri, Tungabhadra, lot of rivers. So agricultural settlement is easily possible. So this started. Evidences are there. Then Pastoral people, beside this, pastoral people, they also emerged in the Plateau, further in South India. This also development, pastoralist community. What is pastoralist? Pastoralist means uh, the people, those who graze animals, animal kuchirate. That means that we are having a lot of grasslands, they are able to graze the animals. Right? And uh, new modes of disposal of dead bodies. As you know that during the Harappan period, dead bodies are buried under the earth. Now new model of disposal of the dead bodies. Dead bodies, that is uh, with the elaborate stone structure known as megaliths. What are megaliths? The meaning of megaliths is megaliths means Maghrib, Urdu mein bolenge Maghrib. Hindi mein, kya bolenge Hindi mein? Uh, this uh, Maghrib's ko. English mein tomb bolenge, tomb. Bade bade log mar jata, uska bas bade asa stone structure bana deta hai. Uska bas tomb bolenge hum log. Hindi mein samadhi sthal, yes, samadhi sthal bolenge. So, earlier ghaad dete the, lekin ab kya kar diya various ways, Maghrib's vagara bana diya, Maghrib's. Stone structure of Olege Megaliths. Remember this. That also can be seen in South India as well as Central India. Right? And uh, in many cases, deaths were buried with the various rich varieties of tools and weapons. Astra or Sastra ke saath dead body ko buried karna shuru kar diya. That also development. So what were the developments? Rigveda Kambos. Agriculture settlements along the river, valley, rivers, uh, rivers, pastoral population present in Deccan and uh, South India. Megalith started different uh, models, isn't it? Uh, that means we can say that uh, new modes of dispersals of buried uh, sorry, dead bodies, especially megaliths. Then, Abkagala Bolenge, dead bodies were uh, buried with a rich variety of tools and weapons 
and uh, 6th century from the 6th century bc evidences of other trends also emergence of new cities new kingdoms new states and new empires that also we can see 6th century bc se aap dekh sakte hain naya cities aa gaya naya states aa gaya merge ho gaya new empires new kingdoms nothing many things is it right so how do this christopher how this uh, historians uh, are able to understand all these things as you all know well they are able to they were able to understand with the help of evidences what are the evidences puchhe ki question uh, sources to understand the early indian history between 600 bc and uh, 600 ce then you have to say inscriptions inscriptions what are inscriptions inscriptions are writings engraved in the hard surface like a metal stone pottery whatever it is and these usually they usually record the achievements activities and ideas of the kings or some other uh, eminent personalities and sometimes the donations of men and women to the religious institution also mark kings victory also mark many things inscriptions are used right we can say that uh, inscriptions were virtually permanent uh, uh, records inscriptions so mind it note is down inscriptions are the writings engraved on hard surface like stone metal etc then coins raja maharaja ne coins were issue karenge us coins se normally inscription mein bhi date hota hai coins mein bhi date hote hain that will say evidence the historians go they are, they, they are able to reconstruct the history of that time apart that time, visual materials megaliths is an example visual material this is also possible right ye bhi aap bolenge and uh, next is uh, our topic is the uh, principles and the uh, piyadasi right some of the most momentous developments in indian epigraphy took place in 1830s epigraphy already padhe chuke humne first year 11th class mein epigraphy is a study of inscriptions is the stage mein bahut sare development ho gaya what was the development sa james prince of sa james prince of he was an officer of the mint of is in the company is in the company ka mint ka ek officer tha what is mint mint not a down is an industrial facility which manufactures coin mint is an a mint is an industrial facility which manufacture coins coin banate hain wah ka officer tha and he deciphered two type of scripts one is brahmi and other is kharosthi kharosthi means the script jo gandhara mein hota hai gandhara gandhara ek mahajan bata hai aap padhenge aage uske bare mein pata hona chahiye aapko jo hamara india us time mein jo 1830 wagera mein india was not divided into pakistan or india india ka jo india pura stretch tha up to afghanistan so afghanistan ka us area ka bolenge gandhara gandhara gandhari kauravon ka gandhari hai na gandhara wahan se as arab uh, afghanistan ka jo uh, area hai wo gandhara tha wahan ka log use karte the kharos the scripts and uh, baaki kuch brahmi the script which was given by brahma the creator so two scripts uh, learn kar diya kisne decipher kar diya means uh, wo discover kar diya who discovered the brahmi and kharos the james prince of an officer of east india company right and the, these two scripts were used to write the inscriptions inscription likhne ke liye use karte the and most of the inscriptions indicated that piyadasi as king king ko bata diya usko 
क्या बोलेंगे उनको राजा के लिए ये शब्द यूज किया था प्रियादर्शी पी आई वाई ए डी ए एस एस आई प्रियादर्शी इसका मीनिंग बहुत होता है इसका मेन मीनिंग दिया गया है प्लसेंट टू बी हॉल प्लसेंट टू बी हॉल मतलब वन हु लुक विद काइंडनेस नंबर ऑफ मीनिंग्स वेर देर राजा को क्या बोलेंगे प्रेस करते हुए मीन्स उसको बताते हुए जो सेंटेंस लिया है कि आपको पियादस से पियादस से मीन्स प्लसेंट टू बी हॉल इनके सामने मैं हैप्पी है मैं सेफ है राजा के सामने एंड दिस uh, uh, क्या बोलेंगे देर वर फ्यू इंस्क्रिप्शन इंस्क्रिप्शन है विच ऑल्सो रेफर टू आर टू द किंग अशोका माहौरी एम्पायर का जो अशोका मोस्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस किंग डूरिंग द बुद्धिस्ट एरा बुद्धिस्ट टेक्स्ट में भी उसके बारे में लिखा है उसको भी पिया दस्सी कहते थे और भी पढ़ेंगे आगे पढ़ेंगे देवना पिया के बारे में लेकिन भी वो बाद में रहेंगे पिया दस्सी अशोका को भी इंडिकेट करते हैं मीन्स क्या है पर्सन टू बी टू बी हॉल्ड एंड दिस गेव ए न्यू डायरेक्शन ऑफ इन्वेस्ट टू इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन टू अर्ली इंडियन फिलोसफर्स और दोलिटिकल सॉरी अर्ली इंडियन इंडियन पोलिटिकल हिस्ट्री एज यूरोपियन एंड इंडियन स्कॉलर्स टूगेदर दे वर्क इंडियन स्कॉलर्स एंड यूरोपियन स्कॉलर्स दे टूगेदर दे वर्क टू अंडरस्टैंड द पोलिटिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ द अर्ली इंडिया राइट दे स्टार्ट टू रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट द लीनियज ऑफ द मेजर डायनेस्टीज कौन कौन सी डायनेस्टी यहां पर रूल किया उसके बारे में रिकॉर्ड करने के लिए शुरू किया है धीरे धीरे स्कॉलर्स शिफ्ट देर जो फोकस फ्रॉम द पोलिटिकल हिस्ट्री टू द इकोनॉमिकल एंड सोशल हिस्ट्री दे थॉट दैट एनी सब एनी कनेक्शन विद दिस पोलिटिकल हिस्ट्री एंड इंडिया सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिकल हिस्ट्री सो उसने खोजना शुरू कर दिया वहां से हमें बहुत कुछ नॉलेज मिला है उसके बारे में हम बात करेंगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल टॉक अबाउट द अर्ली सिटीज उसमें आपको समेटिंग दिया गया था सिक्सटीन महाजनपदास सोलह महाजनपदास के बारे में सोलह का याद नाम याद नहीं रखना कम से कम छह सात का इंपॉर्टेंस का नाम याद रखना ठीक है महाजनपदास पहले बताएंगे महाजनपदास क्या है जन उसके लिए जनपदा पता होना चाहिए जनपदा जनपद जनपद मीन्स जन कौन है जन पीपल पद मीन्स पद पद पाद पाद जो आपका जो क्या बोलेंगे फुट को बोलेंगे पद राइट तो जनपद मीन्स क्या होते हैं द लैंड वेयर अ जना लैंड वेयर अ जना सेट्स इट्स फूट और सेटल्स एक बोले लोग अपने पैर रखते हैं या अपना सेटल कर देते हैं उसी को जनपदा बोलते हैं सिंपली वी कैन से दैट है जहां पे जनता रहते हैं सिंपल जनता जहां रहते हैं उसको जनपदा कहते हैं साइड में आपका जो ग्लोसरी में लिखा है जनपदा का मीनिंग दैट ऑल्सो यू टू लर्न जनपदा जनपदा मीन्स द लैंड वेयर द पीपल सेटल्स राइट सो इन सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी ऑफन रिगार्डेड एज द मेजर टर्निंग पॉइंट इन द अर्ली इंडियन हिस्ट्री अर्ली इंडियन हिस्ट्री में बहुत बड़ा सा टर्निंग पॉइंट है वाई बिकॉज इट्स एन इट्स एन इरा एसोसिएटेड विद द अर्ली स्टेट सिटीज मतलब अभी मैंने पहले बोल दिया सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी में जो चेंजेस हुआ है नया सिटीज स्टेट्स किंगडम्स एंड एम्बर्स सब ऑरिजिनेट हो गया मर्ज हो गया डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉइनिज यूज ऑफ आयरन न्यू स्कूल्स ऑफ रिलीजियस and the philosophical things like the buddhism and the, uh, jainism that was so much these are the changes puchenge aapko why this uh, six centuries regarded as a turning point of early in history so bolenge like new state cities the towns kingdoms and numbers developed new coinage developed use of iron increased new schools of religious and uh, philosophical thinkings that was so much like buddhism and uh, jainism right ye sab bolenge aap 16 janapadas hai main jo aapko 16 janapadas hai so the states state ko bolenge janapadas mahajanapadas kon kon se hai bahut sare states mein important hai vaji yaad rakhna vaji koshala gandhara panchala kuru magadha sab log hai kya once again vaji मगधा कौशाला कुरु पांचाला और 
Gandhara, Igore, Avanti. These were the most important Mahajanapadas. Right? Mahajanapadas ke baare mein bolna hai. Toh, these are ruled by the kings. Known as Gena or Sangha. Mahajanapadas are ruled by king. Known as Gena or Sangha. Hamara means a group of, they are means we can say that they are oligarchies. Sanghas were oligarchs. Oligarchy means kya hote hai? Hamne chote class mein, 10 class se padhe chata, oligarchy kya hote hai? 9 class mein, oligarchy. Oligarchy is a form of government in which the power is vested with a group of people. Oligarchy is a form of government in which the power is vested with a group of people. It's known as oligarchy. So this is also oligarchy. And uh, uh, Mahavira, uh, Mahavira and Buddha, dono aapka, we can say that uh, belong to such Ganasan Sanghas. Ganasan Sanghas. Right? And in your Ganasan Sanghas, we have to reconstruct the histories because they lived near about 1000 years. It's very difficult to reconstruct. If you have to ask about the Mahajanapada, you ruled by the king or Gana or Sangha. And they are mostly oligarchies, group of people rules. This is Mahajana. Mahajana has a capital city that is fortified. Capital city is fortified. And they are uh, having uh, permanent bureaucracy also. Army, standing army, bhi hai, bureaucracy. Bhi hai, ye sab kuch hai. Okay? And uh, they are collecting the tax and all the things. This is what we will But आगे बोलेगा तो हम लोग बात करेंगे ब्राह्मणस बिगान टू कंस्ट्रक्ट कंपोज नॉट कंस्ट्रक्ट कंपोज सांस्कृत टेक्स्ट नोन एज धर्म सूत्रास ब्राह्मणा ने ब्राह्मण लोग उसको क्योंकि आपको पता है कि आप पढ़ेंगे आगे क्लास में कि जो हमारा लैडर मींस कास्ट हेयरार्की कास्ट हेयरार्की में आपको पता है कि जो ब्राह्मणस एट द टॉप देन क्षत्रियास किंग्स आर कंसीडर्ड एज Kshatriyas. Well, Raja Kshatriya hona chahiye. Brahmanas, they will make the rules and the norms. This Brahm, the Dharma Sutras contains the norms of for the king. How the king should rule. Raja ke liye, jo bina ke rakha hai. Ki yoh karna hai, yeh karna hai. Dharma, dharma, uh, dharma Sutras, this laid down the norms of for rulers who were ideally expected to be a Kshatriya. Rulers were advised to collect the taxes and also uh, uh, tribute from the cultivators, traders. Cultivators means the peasants. And traders say we tributes play sector. Artisans also etc. And we are unable to understand whether that they are collecting the uh, tributes from the forest dwellers or cabalenge, uh, uh, pastoralists etc. But ye pata tha, Dharma Sutra mein likhe rakha hai ki a Raja can raid another country, neighboring country. आज के जमाने में सही नहीं है यूएन आएगा हम लोग अगर कोई कंट्री को अननेसेसरी अटैक करेगा तो यूएन आके पूछेंगे व्हाई व्हाट हैपेंस इसने डा लेकिन दैट टाइम इस वाज वाज पॉसिबल क्योंकि ये रखा है लिखे रखा है कि इट इस लेजिटिमेट लीगल है यू कैन रेंज राइट फॉर द फॉर इंक्रीजिंग योर रेवेन्य you wanted to remove the king because the king is for approval. So attack and uh, remove that king. This was possible. Tha. In Dharma Sutra, we have written it. Right? We will start now. We will start the second part. Next part. Hum, the first among the 16. Ka, 16 Mahajanabada. The ka, best, the first your kingdom. Magadha. Ke mein that is, that we will study in the next class. Right? Thank you. Now, हम चेक करेंगे जो मेरे साथ बैठ के पढ़ी हैं, उनसे क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे, देखता हूँ उसको कुछ समझ में आया कि नहीं आया। उसके बाद फिर मैं बहुत एक्सप्लेनेशन भी आपको दिखाएंगे, right? So let's start the questions. जितना हमने पढ़ा है उसी टॉपिक में से क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे, आंसर करेक्टली बोलने हैं, ठीक है? This chapter depicts about this chapter depicts about the Mahajanpadas and uh, um, and its economics. And its economics. I mean, the state and the economics. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the changes? What are the changes? 
developments occurred between the 600 BC and the 600 CE. Uh, Rig Veda was com composed by the. Rig Veda people. was composed. How many Vedas in the well, I have mentioned in this uh, lecture? Four Vedas. What are they? Uh, Adharva Veda. Pale Rig, Adharva. Rig Veda. Mm. Sama Veda, Yajur Veda, and Adharva Veda. Yajur Veda and Adharva Veda. Among this, which is the oldest one? Rig Veda. Rig Veda is the oldest one. And um, uh, uh, what are the things I Rig Veda composed? Next. Uh, Rig Veda was composed by the people along the Indus and its tributaries, and agricultural settlements was also emerged in the uh, subcontinent like in North India, South India, Karnataka, mm. and uh, Deccan Plateau. Mm. And uh, evidences of a pastoralist was also. What are what do you mean by pastoralist? Means agriculture, uh, large area of agricultural land. No, 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 no. Pastoralist means the people, those who are, uh, uh, gra large grasslands will be there and they are using, utilizing the animals, isn't it? Animal ko jo le karke, usko pastoralist ka hai, okay? Rearing of animals, you can say. Hmm. And uh, then, uh, iske alawa? Uh, uske alawa, phir dugging, uh, matlab, new, uh, decomer, wo, burials ke baare mein bolenge. Uh, oh, new modes of disposal of uh, the dead. New wo, modes of disposal. Wo kya hai, uske liye kya bolenge? Matlab, kya bolenge, uske liye, bada asa strong structure, uske kya bolenge? Uh, Megalits. Megalits. Megalits ka Hindi mein maine bata diya tha. Kya bolenge? Samadhi sthal aur magre bin urdu. Two hmm. main English. Okay. Hmm. Ye sabko padna nahi. Lekin samajh ke dekhna hai. Koi agar puchha to aapko pata hona chahiye isme. And iske alawa jo buried ke saath hai rich range of buried is of. I um, use a um, buried uh, range of uh, uh, kya bolte weapons, weapons and tools. Weapons and tools. Astro shastra. In English, weapons and tools. Weapons and tools. Astro shastra. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Then uh, historians, uh, how sources of under, sources to understand the early Indian history? Uh, sources are inscriptions, mm. uh, text. Coins. What are inscriptions? Inscriptions are the writings which is engraved on the hard surface such as metal, stone and pottery. Well, uh, no, usually uh, what they have recorded in the inscriptions? Normally, jo, uh, what do they have written? Writings. Writing, kya writings? What do they have written? Achievements. Achievements. Likhe. Activities. Haan. And uh, Achievement dog, activities dog, and women and men they are uh, donating something to the religious uh, institutions. OBA. Victory of the king, Rajaka Jeet. Isn't it? Uh, exploitation of the king. Rajaka Kisi exploit Kardi, OBI Nikeni, yes, of course. It's called Tambra Patru, what I mean, some metals may dictate Tambra Patru. Isn't it? A copper plate may you like it. Yes, you are. This is also an evidence. Okay? Or visual material may be called evidence. What is it? Visual material means megalith. Megalith is an example. It's called coins also. Raja Maharaj is shook here. Yes, of course, examples of it. Right? And what do you mean by epigraphy? Epigraphy means the study of uh, inscriptions. Inscriptions. Yes. Uh, and uh, do you know uh, something about this? Uh, who is uh, the uh, uh, James Prince of? Um, James Prince of is an officer uh, officer in the Mint of East India Company. What is a Mint? Mint is, is an industrial uh, facility, facility. In who manufacture the coins. Right, right, right. Okay. You could say all right. And uh, uh, how many Mahajanabadas are there? Um, 16 16 Mahajanabadas and uh, how can you say that uh, 6th century BC is often regarded as a major turning point in the early Indian history um, it can be because um, there are many reasons mm. like the development of coinage mm. early states cities and the growing use of it's the development of cities as uh, empires etc mm. and uh, coinage ka or overuse of and, uh, and uh, overuse of that thought ah, uh, overuse of thought overuse of iron ah, growing use, uh, growing of, use iron. of iron then thoughts and as new schooling that means uh, thoughts and developments of buddhism ah, buddhism, buddhism and, and, uh, and uh, some developed okay and uh, can you say some uh, names of this uh, mahajanabadas yes there are seven important names mm. they are vajay Magad vajay vajay vajay, uh. vajay Magadha, mm. Koshla, mm. Uh, Kuru, mm. and uh, Panchala, mm. Gandhara, and uh, Avanti. Avanti. Okay, correct. And uh, tell me something about Mahajanabadas. Any two, three points? Uh, Mahajanabadas, it is ruled by the king. Mm. Uh, or Sangha. 
it is uh, it is called uh, ganas or sanghas oh. and they were oligarchies what is oligarchy oligarchy is a form of government which is uh, ruled uh, by a group of men for example the roman republic right right okay right right and iske alawa aur bhi mahajanpada had uh, mahajanpada had a capital city hmm. which is often fortified oh. and uh, um, they collected the resources from uh, to maintain the bureaucracy and the army etc hmm. bolenge acha dharma sutras written by dharma sutras is written by the uh, brahmins brahmins what was what was the content of this dharma sutra Uh, the content of dharma sutras was that uh, they uh, the ruler must be kshatriya uh, and uh, they have the norms the, for the rulers simply uh, norms is the ideas to go to be a ruler ke liye wo sab kuch pe likhe rakha hai theek hai right 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 theek hai aur uh, okay this much only thank you Welcome to the board description. Our chapter name is Kings, Farmers, and Towns. This chapter depicts about the early Indian towns as well as its economies. This is between the 600 BCE and 600 CE. Right during the long span of 1500 years, so many development happened in Indian subcontinent after the end of. Harappan civilization. What were the developments? That is already mentioned clearly. But now, once again, I wanted to uh, depict all these things. That is, the development points. The Rig Veda was composed by the people uh, who live along the tributaries of uh, tributaries and the river uh, uh, in this river and tributaries. And second, uh, agri agricultural settlements because of so many rivers like a Sindhu, Ganga. and aapka uh, kaveri krishna tungabhadra number of rivers were there and uh, because of this only agricultural settlement is also emerged and uh, that also possible in various places places like uh, north india deccan plateau and uh, uh, part of karnataka etc evidences are there and the pastoral population also they said that pastoral population also emerged uh, in the kan as well as in south india and uh, new mo modes of burials in the uh, disposal of the dead bodies called uh, megaliths uh, elaborate stone structure is known as megaliths uh, that also we can see and uh, uh, apart that uh, we have seen that uh, dead bodies are buried with a rich range variety of uh, uh, weapons and uh, tools that also mentioned in that time that period and sources uh, the historians uh, they are attempt to uh, recollect the past Uh, because of these sources only, because they collected from the inscriptions. I already explained about the inscription. What are inscriptions? Inscriptions are the uh, writings engraved on the hard surface, like rock, uh, the stone, uh, pottery, etc. And usually they uh, record the achievements, uh, activities, ideas of the uh, people. Those who commissioned that this. as well as the men and women, those who uh, donate something to the religious uh, centers. and the king's uh, uh, victory as well as the exploitation of the king etc mentioned it was virtually uh, permanent records inscriptions and apart that the text also tamri patra ke bare mein bata diya maine isn't it the copper plate writings and coins also issued by the kings and all visual materials may you can say that that is so these are the sources by, by the sorry collected by the historians to reconstruct the past of india and then uh, Next is Prince of and Pierre the Sea. Prince of who was Prince of James Prince of 1830s. May the epigraphy may means the study of inscription. Us make totally changes the idea India ka uh, India me because uh, is in the company they appointed James Prince of in a mint of mint. Mint means what is mint? Oi bata hai da factory jaha par coin banate hai. Ma professor ban gaya hai da but he was he deciphered the two scripts uh, that is. Uh, ब्राह्मी आस वो लास्ट है क्रॉस थी क्रॉस थी मैंने आपको बोला था गांधारा या अफगानिस्तान का वहाँ पर ये लोग यूज़ करते थे और ब्राह्मी आपको पता है कि ब्राह्मणों का और ब्रह्मा का जो स्क्रिप्ट्स संस्कृत स्क्रिप्ट बोलेंगे ये दो स्क्रिप्ट्स में से इंक्रिप्शन लिखे थे सो दिस आल्सो डिसाइफर्ड बाई चेम्स प्रिंट्स राइट यहाँ से हम लोग इंडियन हिस्ट्री को 
जो खोजना शुरू कर देखना शुरू कर दिया इन हिस्टोरियंस आसुल्लाह से यूरोपियन हिस्टोरियंस टुगेदर दे वर्क द ऑन दिस एंड दे डिस्कवर द पॉलिटिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया आसुल्लाह से कनेक्टेड द पॉलिटिकल हिस्ट्री विद द इकोनॉमिक हिस्ट्री आसुल्लाह से द सोशल हिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्ली इंडिया राइट एंड नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द 16th महाजनपदास And the sixteen Mahajanabadas, the important Mahajanabadas, the name is also written and told us. Vaji, Koshala, Magadha, Kuru, Panchala, Gandhara, and Avanti. Right? Mahajanabadas means big Mahajanabadas. Mahajanabadas means what? Maha means big. Mahajanabadas means you have to learn the meaning of Janabadas. Janabadas means, I mean, which means the Janabadas. Janabadas 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 means the ठीक है वो आप पढ़ेंगे आप साइड में सारे जो ग्लॉसरी दे रखे हैं यू मे प्लीज लर्न एंड महाजन प्रदास वॉज रूल्ड बाय द सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी वी कैन सी दैट टर्निंग पॉइंट फॉर द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन इंडियन हिस्ट्री बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ सिटीज नंबर ऑफ दिस महाजन प्रदास नंबर ऑफ जन प्रदास वॉल्सो अमोज आसमला सोइनेस isn't it and the overuse of uh, status uh, growth growing use of iron and the new ideologies and thoughts and the teachings uh, like buddhism and uh, jainism also emerged during this time right uh, uh, this mahajanapadas was ruled by the king gana or gana, gana or sangha mahavira and buddha was also from this uh, sangha only and they are only some of this uh, uh, gana or sanghas were only gatis what are oligarchy oligarchy means he uh, what are oligarchy oligarchy meaning a form of government in which the power is vested uh, with a group of people that is oligarchy right uske baad mein bola ki jo dharma sutra ke bare mein brahmanas likha hai norms laid down for the rulers isn't it is a dharma sutra usme likhe rakha ki raja ka raja should be kshatriya understood and they they can collect the tax from the people uh, artisans and all the thing traders etc and the tribute also they can collect from the cultivators cultivators say uh, tribute were le sakta hai and also they can they can get tribute le sakta hai tax le sakta hai and raid kar sakta hai they can raid the neighboring countries for the betterment of them them smell of their uh, economy apne economy badhane ke liye ya aapka bagal wala ruler agar weak hai he wanted to they wanted to uh, separate uh, the sorry they wanted to solve the pathetic condition of the neighboring country uske liye raja ko hatane ke liye bhi whatever it is ready raid kar sakta this is legitimate legal this was no problem dekhiye ye sab kuch dharma sutra mein dikha tha ठीक है अब हम अगले टॉपिक में हम पढ़ेंगे मगधा के बारे में द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट महाजनपदा दट वॉज मगधा उसके बारे में हम पढ़ेंगे राइट right? तब तक आप इतना सुनने के बाद है रीड द टॉपिक यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कंप्लीटली राइट थैंक यू